Greetings, Keishalane. It's Keish Prime here with my live reaction of Dr. Stone, Chapter 203. Last chapter, they went to Barcelona. I think that's how I was pronouncing it last time. I don't know. Um, they, they created currency. They revived some of the locals. They got access to olive oil, which is increasing their cuisine. Um, they, uh, and they made churros. Which, to be honest, I didn't know churros was a Spanish dish like that. So, we're Italian. No, 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 no. Spain. It's Spain. Um, but yes. Uh, so, yeah. Anyway. Uh, let's see here. Oh, yeah, the results of the popularity poll. Senku is number two. Okay. And Gin is number one. That is surprising as all get out. Ryusuke is third. Okay. Previously, he was second. Gin was previously third. And Senku was previously first. So they're kind of shuffling around. <laughs> uh, the title is Missile Heart. Okay. Let's see here. Fluoride Acquired. Uh, since Japan's supply of fluoride is all dried up, we came to Barcelona. There's heaps of it near the shoreline. Okay, so they've got some of the locals mixed in with Kohaku, it looks like. So clear, what a sparkly stone. So, Suika's happy, and it glows when heated, which is why we call it a firefly stone in Japanese. Hmm. Okay, what is... Uh, Oh, they're making glass out of What the hell are you making? Um, is this for eyeglasses? That's a lens of pure polished fluoride. Compared to glass, its refractive index and dispersion are, yeah, long story short, it's the ultimate high performance lens used by pros. Ah, I didn't know fluoride could be used for such things. All right. Uh, I've been saying fluoride instead of fluorite, haven't I? Hmm. Anyway, and it uh, gives us a major power-up in the form of this fluorite lens telescope. Oh, car. It's still made out of wood, though. Um, so now they've upgraded the, the ship's telescope. Oh. How fantastic. I can almost uh, make out the individual craters. Ha! Huh. With a jumbo-sized telescope, we can search the moon for Y-Man from afar. <laughs> we won't be digging up a crystal that massive. And making one in a lab is a way down the road. Hmm. So Kohaku wants to get a bigger telescope. Interesting. Oh, we have a ship model. Um, once we've got a lock on Y, man, this baby can fly us right there. A rocket? I love that Kaseki's just like, I made a rocket today. Less than five years ago, I would have never conceived such a notion. Kind of. Yeah, it's tiny. So tiny, lol. I'm just, I'm just about the only one who could fit in there. Aw. You're forgetting how much you've grown, Suika. Oh, that's true. A miniature rocket, to be exact. We're going to slap on a prototype of Dr. Zeno's uh, test engine. Ah. And pick a spot for a test launch. Hmm, <laughs> excuse me. It's fabulous. Miniature or not, seeing the real thing with our own eyes makes it feel like we're getting closer to the moon every day. Even down here in the stone world. Hmm. <laughs> A proper moon mission means uh, making deadly accurate trajectory calculations. So the next city we're founding is Math City, India. Okay. Getting a little, hmm. 
Let's see, hmm, India, huh? Since we're in Spain now, how do we reach India by boat? They have to cross the, what is it, Cape of, Cape Hope? Cape of Hope? We just make the long route around the Cape of Good Hope. That's it, I forgot the good part. Um, so far, bad. Yeah, they gotta go around Africa. Um, on that note, there's an issue with the new Perseus. What? We're running through fuel faster than expected. Our current supply uh, will never take us past the Cape of Good Hope all the way to India. Oh well, honestly, it'd be, that's that's bad. Honestly, it'd be uh, freakier if science always worked out perfectly every time. I like that Senku's just kind of like ellipses. Hang on, can't we just uh, make more of that gas fuel from raw garbage? Yep, that's why we've got this whole plant installed. But, until we stock up on enough fuel for the trip, we've, we're grounded uh, here like a bunch of landlubbers. For months, maybe even a year. Whoa. Wait, what? what is, uh... He's thinking of something. The water connects here, right? And look at that. We've got ourselves one bad shortcut. Wait, what is that? Is that the Baron Strait? Or something? I, I don't know. Let's see here. No, the Baron Strait's somewhere else. Um, yes, that once was the Suez uh, Canal, a con uh, route that connected the seas carved open by mankind, a shortcut for lengthy sea voyages. I mean, it would still technically be there, just it wouldn't be like a fancy canal, <laughs> unless, like, the mountains and stuff built up around it, but I wouldn't think that would have been, that, that would have taken way longer. This is starting to sound kind of familiar, right? The Banana Canal. The Panama. Uh, yes, the Panama Canal. But after 3,700 years, the abandoned canal is more likely blocked up. Hmm, I wonder. The Suez Canal. Okay, so Chelsea's think and connect the two bodies of water at equal elevation. Unlike back in Panama, there's a glimmer of hope. Ha, huh, so this is, so the Suez Canal works out. You know, we save a whole year of waiting around, right? And there it is, dear Kohaku's love of striking hard and fast. I remember how we had to give up that darn banana route. So this could be the perfect grudge match against those canal things. <laughs> I'm no fan of uh, waiting around either, so I'd love to give these, uh, this plan my blessing. But, as the captain here, I'm putting my foot down. Hmm. That route could be blocked off, and we'd be blindfolded, uh, sailing without a proper sea chart. If we do indeed hit a dead end, trying to turn around would be risky. Am I wrong? Hmm. If only we could scout in advance. Says the world's greatest, uh, geographer. <clears throat> Dear Chelsea, you trying to make me blush over here? Oh, Let's see here. Darn, if only Chelsea could see the canal from... Wait, they're going to upgrade the telescope again, aren't they? Uh, from real far away with a bad telescope. They're think... What are they thinking? Oh my god, they're going to make a hot air balloon. <gasps> they're using her letters. The... The hell... Letters to make the balloon. I forgot about the hot air balloon, to be honest. This is the bestest. I get to check on the Suez Canal and whip up a sea chart. Easy peasy. Yeah, how's it looking from up there? Do you think we can slip through that Suez sea route thing? So Chrome and Kohaku are talking about... Uh, nope, it's blocked. Aww. As always, we have the worst luck. But she sees something else. Hang on. 
Fun fact here, our ship would totes hit a dead end, but the sea route's still actually there. There's just some kind of dam made up of dead trees and junk. Are they going to blast through it? I suppose there have been plenty of climate or plenty of climate change over 3,700 years. You bet trees are probably popping up like crazy for a brief moment, but their heyday didn't last, and over time they weathered and floated away to, to form a natural dam. Did someone called for destruction. It still took 20 kilometers away. <laughs> okay, so so Kaku's huh. Sailing over to break it down would be risky. We have no choice but to blow the dam up. We should secure the whole route before making our way into the canal, since there may be no turning back. I mean, true, the ship probably couldn't turn around in that tight of a space. <laughs> you're telling me. We're outside the canal, but 20 kilometers inside is a wall that needs blowing up. That's a challenge. How on earth? They're gonna use the blue. Oh my god, they're gonna use the rocket to blow the shit up. Okay, now the title makes sense. Um. Let's see here, and uh, Gin is kind of freaked out. Team gets it, village team doesn't get it. Let's see here. Oh, is this. Oh, surely not for real. They got dynamite in there. It's remotely controlled, it's got fuel, uh, and it's made out of a super alloy, and Zeno's a rocket engine. So, let's see here, science is power. For instance, I trust, uh, I don't have to explain how. Your little rocket and a ballistic missile are fundamentally the same thing, right? So now, thinking of, uh, their meetings in the past. <laughs> it was in his help, I finally made it happen. The first one. Fire! So you made a rocket or a missile. Okay, and it's flying off. And they're controlling it. Missile acquired! Oh shit, that went right past Chelsea, like really close. Haha, <laughs> behold! With the power of science, we'll blast! into the future and they blasted the dam but I don't think it did did it do it oh yeah it did go through but is it going to open up enough to actually allow the passage of the ship I'm not so sure hmm unless it just completely collapses in on itself I don't really see this plan working out sadly they'll need at least a second missile and I don't know if they have the materials um but okay so the Suez Canal um, I think I've heard of it before the more I th hear the name the more I think I have heard it so they had a better chance of that because like instead of like the elevations going you know kind of all over the place like the Panama Canal that's why they always had to raise and lower the ships along the route so um, which then made it even more of a marvel, you know, of its time. But yeah, with the Suez Canal being equal, you know, across, that makes it a little easier if this actually pans out and they can, you know, make their way through. But I'm still worried that that one rocket is not going to do the job. But we will see. Um... But yeah, they upgraded the telescope, they, um, they created their first rocket test, so that's cool. Um, but they're running low on fuel, or at least they're consuming a lot more fuel than they originally thought. So that's problematic. Um, you know, you, well, I guess in 30... 700 years a lot of the garbage that's floating in the ocean probably doesn't exist anymore or at least probably sunk by now um so like they could have used a lot of like the the plastic garbage and stuff to you know 
use, but could they use seaweed, actually? Like, get some nets, gather up seaweed along the way, and then just haul it in, and then it's like compost? It's kind of garbage in a way. Um, so yeah, natural garbage. Um, but yeah, I don't... So that's going to be their first problem. But they're going to India as Math City, apparently. Um, you know, kind of going on the stereotypes of Indian people and Asians in general and all that are, you know, really good at math and science and all that. So it's like, oh boy. But either way. Um, so yeah, India is the next location. They just have to get over a couple hurdles, you know, the fuel issue for long term and then getting through the canal, which is supposedly supposed to help with the fuel issue, but we will see. I mean, the fuel issue should still be an issue regardless of, you know, because they're still going to have to gather up garbage to turn it into fuel, right? So no matter wherever they are, they're going to have some kind of limitation. But anyway, I guess that's about all I have to really say about the chapter. Interesting what they accomplished. I didn't know uh, fluorite was used that way, so cool. Um, even more so why they need it so much for the, you know, all of the instruments and everything that they're going to need. I assume they're going to use it for the glass, because it's not like straight up glass. It's a more sturdier material, so like, they probably can use it for, you know, maybe the wind or like the windows and the the dome for the uh, spacesuits and you know windows on the rockets. So I w would assume I could be completely wrong, but anyway, um, yeah. Anyway. Uh, let me know what you thought about the chapter, anything I missed, misunderstood, please let me know down below. Check out my other content, uh, such as Mashley and Undead Unluck, which should be uploaded sometime tonight, I guess. Um, if not, it'll be uploaded in the morning. Um, much like this one. I don't know when it's going up. <laughs> uh, but yeah, so check out that stuff. Um, help me reach 500 subs by the end of July. 500, 500. Um, links down below for all my social media so you can keep up with my content and have ways to contact me. I stream on Twitch where I do gaming and I'll tweet out when I go live. Part of the One Punch Man podcast on Grim Reaper's channel so go check that out. And as always, thank you for watching. Like, comment, and subscribe. And until next time, Keeshalings. Happy 4th of July. I hope that doesn't date the video.